hello everyone we're in my kitchen today it is summer summer is here the girls are around everybody's around i am getting ready to cook and i was like hmm i'm getting ready to cook now well, should i go live and i said well you know people are counting on me to go live and if i don't go live they'll be like oh where are you you didn't go live what's going on but today i'm planning to cook and i'm planning to make some ogbono soup while i'm cooking and talking to you guys hello how are you i'm gonna do shout out hello to robin i'm gonna do the first five people omo tayo hello how are you so if you wanna how are you everybody we have 24 people if you you've not clicked that like button audrey brenda adenike rebecca i'm doing more than let's do 10. rebecca who else ashanti zulu i love that name how are you lady t hi lady t how are you and let's see who else we have on here uh one more person let's do one more person and also easy hi easy how are you and carol okay carol how are you so we are in my kitchen and this is my kitchen uh it's a bit messy in the mess but uh yeah so summer is here let me first sit down <clears throat> summer is here and when summer is here the weather affects our hair if you guys don't know the weather can affect your hair it can be humid i have my apron on because <laughs> i don't want my clothes to splatter it can be humid it can be nasty you can get you know dry hair dry dry hair and uh, because of that there are different things that you have to understand you have to understand that products that you use can actually affect the where your hair turns out so your hair can become more frizzy if you use products that have glycerin in it because what glycerin does is that it takes the moisture from the environment outside and it puts it in your hair and your hair gets bigger and it can get very dry yes 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 brenda you're right your hair can get very very dry so you have to look for alternative ways how to moisturize your hair some people will carry along a spritz bottle like a small you know those travel spritz bottle they'll carry along a spritz bottle and use it to spray their hair uh but make sure if you're doing that so that you're not consistently doing that you also seal in the moisture into your hair some other people, what they can do is that they can do the greenhouse effect or they can do the bagging method. So at night, they can put some moisture on their hair, cover their hair and do it that way. And then in the morning, their hair is still moisturized and throughout the day, they are able to retain that moisture. If you are doing that and you're someone that your scalp gets itchy very easily, please try not to do that. Now, one other thing that you can also do is you can look in the playlist that says dry natural hair and get all the tip about handling your dry hair issues uh we've only got four likes we have 34 people on here can you guys smash that like button just tap on it it's very easy it's not something that is hard to do if you cannot find it click on live chat and oh thank you three more people thank you so much for clicking the like button nine people you guys are wonderful have i told you you guys are wonderful hey you looking at me grab a mirror look at yourself you are beautiful you are absolutely beautiful okay so i'm going to be answering those are the key things that you can do if you put your hair in a protective style in the summer make sure you are still moisturizing your hair make sure you are still moisturizing your hair it is okay in between the week to co-wash your hair when you co-wash your hair you infuse moisture back into your hair Shampooing your hair can be necessary if you are someone that you swim a lot in the summer. We swim a lot in the summer, so we're constantly shampooing. But a way that we don't drought our hair is by also doing deep conditioning. You can deep condition after you shampoo, every time you shampoo. And drink your water. Summertime is not the time to slack on drinking your water. Drink your water because if you don't drink your water, your hair will show sign of dryness. So there might be some other things I'm missing out, but that is my key point in terms of um keeping your hair hydrated moisturized in the summer so we're going to answer some questions and then i'm going to start cooking let me grab my glasses so that i can easily see you all and quick question oh gosh my glasses is always dirty i don't know why um could you record let me answer a question and then walk my way from the top forward so let's start uh there and 
So Mimo C says that mine gets thin. Your hair gets thin. There are different things that can be causing your hair thinness. If you search for discovering natural thin or thinning, uh, the way that you do your hair can thin it. So if I'm constantly doing my hair in this style like this, I can start seeing thinning over here. I can see start still thinning over here. Change up your styles. Change up your styles. Try not to comb your hair when it's dry. And try not to pull your hair into styles that can over manipulate your, ma manipulate your hair and cause thinning. So other things that uh, my phone is almost dead. Oh my gosh, put a charger in it. Plug in your charger, girl. If your phone is almost dead. Zap, what's up, and <laughs> and Flash, what's up? Okay, how often should I do the bagging method? Now, I find that it's the first person to person. The reason why it differs person to person, just like what I, my health is different from your health. So you have to start off by doing it every other day. See how your hair likes it. If you find that your hair stays moisturized every other day, do every three days. You just have to learn. That is part of learning your hair, learning how your hair works, learning what works for your hair. Okay. So I like most everything you do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I use Carefree. Good. What do you think about Carefree Curl Gold? I've seen the product in the stores, but I've never ever used it before. So I really can't say much about it. Uh, I want to tell you guys something. If you don't know, if you have a Facebook, pay, uh, Facebook page, please join our Facebook group called Discovery Natural Group. On that group, you can post a picture of your hair. Um, Izzy is part of our group. Um, Catherine, I think Catherine is in our group. Um, Dolita, Dolita, I'm not sure if you're in our group, but a lot of people are in our group that come to this live chat. Join the group, post pictures of products you use, post pictures of what you need. If you have questions, ask questions on the group, Discover Natural group. It is free. It's a closed group, so your friends on your normal Facebook page will not see what you are posting. So don't be embarrassed, you know, and you don't, you can blow out your face if you want that. Okay. Yeah. Catherine is in our group and it's a lovely, lovely group and we have different perks. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway on the group pretty soon because I have a whole bunch of products I'm trying to get rid of. So, uh, yeah. Could you recommend a co-wash? I personally use Kadima co-wash. That's my co-wash of choice. Other co-wash that I've used that I've loved is Eating Body Works. They also make a co-wash and I love that co-wash. Uh, which other co-wash have I used that I love? Oh yeah, a new one that I use that I love is called, is it the tip of my tongue? It's a blue. Oh, why can't I remember the name? Gosh, I can't remember the name. And I'm not in my bathroom, so yeah. Thank you. Hi. What are you cooking? I'm going to make an ogono soup, um, light ogono soup. I'm going to put a little bit of okra in the ogono soup, and I'm also going to be putting a little bit of spinach in the ogono soup. Would you guys like to watch me cook? I know this is not a cooking channel, uh, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. But if you want to see me cook, I do a video a day on my family channel, which is called DN Vlogs Live. I went to a fashion show and the video came out at noon. Uh, so we did a video on there. Have you guys seen that video? Uh, yes. So you will love to see me cook. Check out DN Vlogs Live. I have like over 30, 40 videos of me cooking different foods, of my girls cooking. My daughter, when she was real little, she made mug cake, cake in a mug. So we have videos on that. So check out DN Vlogs Life. And as I said, we do a video a day, our lifestyle. Uh, yeah, so, and then yesterday we did a challenge on that channel and the challenge was let the person in front of me decide what i eat and what we did was that uh we went to a drive through and as we went to the drive through like anything that the car in front of us ordered that was what we ate yeah we don't do fast fast food we don't do fast food so it was kind of a little bit nerve-wracking but we succeeded. So go watch that video. Um, tomorrow's video on DN Vlogs Life, I can't tell you what it will be, but there are other, and I also do shout outs. Yes, I ordered, also do shout outs on that channel. So if you're a small YouTuber and you want a shout out, I'll shout you out. Uh, the other, we're taking a trip. So it'll be on that channel. We went to Nigeria. It's on that channel. So join us, DN Vlogs Life. It's happening air related it's happening here so okay that's enough of that uh let me see 
some post the chat group. Yeah, the chat group is called Discovering Natural Group. Uh, let me see. How can I keep from losing my crawl definition when I wear it twist out on a hot, humid day? The product you use. Most people don't like using gel. Please look into gels. I love gels in hot, humid days. If I have a show that I have to go to or if I have to go and cover an event, which is what I do on my family channel, I, I went to cover a strawberry festival and my hair, I don't even start my hair that day, I think I put it up or something. But I used the gel and it kept my hair intact. Use the gel, use something with old, hold. So if you don't have, um, a com if you don't want to buy a commercial gel just because of the ingredients that can cause itchiness and skin irritation, you can also try gels like Kadir came out with a gel that I used in the last video that came out the day before yesterday. It's a 100% aloe vera jelly. So, jelly. <laughs> so, you can use that. You can also make your own gels with flaxseed gel. Look in the DIY natural hair playlist on this channel and you'll be able to get the information on that. Okay? So, um, I want to do a shout out to my dad. If my dad is watching this because he's always watching my life and he's a secret watcher. <laughs> <laughs> is a is a is a lot is it do, do you come that locker locker someone that lurks yeah is a locker shout out daddy love you kisses <laughs> okay and my mom also i don't know if my mom is watching but if my mom is watching shout out to you guys i love you for giving birth to me yay okay so you guys are gonna be seeing more of my parents on dn vlogs live coming up very soon so i just want to let you guys know that i'm pretty excited i've not seen them in ages and i love them loads so yeah okay um bagging method let me see bagging method is the bagging method the same as covering with the conditional cap it's similar yes yes is the ingredients i find that it's the ingredients that you use in those methods that matter go to the moisturizing natural hair playlist on this channel and i compare the two i show what works for my low prosty hair and what doesn't work as well for my low prosty hair so yeah I know my parents are so supportive. Yes, they are. They are so supportive. Um, yeah, so today, before I'm going to cook, I'm going to make this a easy live chat. So if you guys are not interested in live, this is kind of an example of what you will see on DN Vlogs Live, our lifestyle. I'm bringing it to this channel so that you guys can go check out DN Vlogs Live. So this is the end of the natural hair section of this live chat so if you want to exit if you don't like vlogs you don't care about my life you can exit but we're starting this right now so we went to kroger's do you guys have a kroger's in your area we went to kroger's and our kroger's they had samples do you guys go to restaurants and in restaurants they are um, no no restaurants grocery stores so we went to kroger's and the grocery store they add samples whenever we go to kroger's my children and my husband they always gravitate towards the sushi bar. Do you guys like sushi? Do you know what sushi is? Do you, are you like, what is sushi? They always gravitate, yes, mind call, they, they gravitate towards the sushi bar. Now, we went there and the sushi sample of the day was, drum roll place, it was the New York, New York roll. This New York roll was bigger than this, but I was shooting a video with my daughter's video coming up in the next um, couple of days for DM Vlogs Live. The video is about having children. Oh, shout out to our moderator, lovely Mitiel. Thank you so much um, uh, for joining. Thank you so much. So, I was, uh, it's called New York Rolls. This was, I bought it for $9.95. Um, so, it was more than this, but the children attacked it first and they left me too. Yeah, so that is it. So usually when you get sushi, sushi comes like this. That is a sushi roll. It's like a roll like that. And it also comes with wasabi, this wasabi and this ginger right over there. And so um, I usually eat it with my hand because I don't want my hand to get dirty. So I'm gonna grab my fork right here. Let's grab the fork right here. And what are the main ingredients? I'm going to tell you the ingredients of this sushi. The ingredients of this sushi is crab, pollock, threaded fin brim, egg, milk, soy, wheat, sesame seeds. And this is a close-up of it. 
Oh, I love the San Antonio roll too. So we try to get different rolls that we can eat and stuff. Never add sushi. Oh my goodness. My um, cousin-in-law, he has never had sushi and he tasted sushi today. I don't know if he liked it. I don't know. Should I ask him? Hey, Wale! Wale! I'm a typical African mom. I'm like such a typical African mom. I like yell at everything. You guys should go and check out our family vlog channel. I'm like, oh, Sandy yelling. I don't think he's around. I think he's with. Oh, you are downstairs? You are upstairs. Okay, they want to know, did you like sushi since this is the first time? Uh, it was good. I don't know if he wants to be on camera. Even though he's a hottie, he doesn't want to be on camera. He doesn't want the babes to find him. It was, it was good. It was like, I love sushi. It was, like, it was fine. Will you eat it again? He will uh, not eat it again. Don't mind him. Maybe. This He will not eat it again. You see, the way he kept quiet, you guys can feel his spirit. <laughs> we are talking about spirit. You can feel his spirit. I don't think this oh. boy... You did not eat the sushi the right way. I think I did. You have, did you have it with wasabi? What's that? See? People, if you eat sushi and you don't eat sushi with wasabi, you don't eat sushi with ginger, this is wasabi right here. This wasabi, only a little bit of it. They can't see you, but if you want them to see. Yeah. Only wasabi. Let them see you. Now don't be shy, you see? Hi, everybody. Hey! Everybody see? Ah, look. Oh, it's tall. <laughs> yeah, so this is... You guys have seen him on this channel before. He got tall, like gained like half an inch. Oh, I did? Oh, no, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> so this is wasabi. You have to eat, they said hi. You have to eat sushi with wasabi. Okay. This is wasabi. Okay, bring your finger. Uh, bring your finger. Okay. Oh. oh, sorry. Oh yeah, take it. Taste the wasabi. <laughs> you people are gonna say I'm wicked. Quick, still taste it. I'm wicked, right? I shouldn't have given him wasabi. Holy, oh my gosh. People are like, ah, they call you Flyboy. Eh. <laughs> okay, see? Anyway, so that's wasabi. Thank you so much. Okay, see me disturbing him when he's trying to help his niece out. Anyway, so wasabi. <laughs> Ashanti, you are laughing. <laughs> I know. Oh, you made it say, Justina. <laughs> Justina is making the same face. I know, poor boy. Eh? Okay, so this is wasabi sauce. So I like wasabi sauce. He really doesn't like it. I don't think he likes it. Don't mind him. He's so super polite. He's such a nice guy. He's super polite. So you guys, you ladies out there, hmm, you always want to get a guy that is super polite, super nice and everything. Anywho, are you guys liking this style? It is very hot. It is very hot. So join us on DM Vlogs Life. We'll be Moshe Polo DM Vlogs Life. I am advertising DM Vlogs Life. We speak Yoruba sometimes there. So I take my ginger. I put a little bit of wasabi on top of my ginger like that. And then I take the sushi. I'm not a pretty sushi eating. I'm not one of those pepper and pepper girls oh, that will be taking sushi. Like eating sushi like this. Sushi is not meant to be two bites. You don't take sushi and take two bites. You take this. Yeah, turn it into mukbang. You take this sushi and you go... And the wasabi sauce, it goes through your nose. And it comes out from your nose. Mmm. I do one bite. Wasabi sauce, you see, your nose is on fire. You become a dragon instantly. This is very good. If you have a cup of wine, it's the best when. Cup of wine, cup of hot. Um, not hot, nothing hot. Cup of wine. Oh, my God. I feel like a chimney. So the sauce comes through your nose. If you want to be more risky. So we're going to do that again. I'm going to take this. I know we're going to make ogono soup, but mommy needs energy to be able to cook Nigerian food because I'm making with cocoa yam. I've never made cocoa yam before. So take this, put that on top, my ginger, like that. Oh yeah, let's do one more time. It doesn't hear heat. It doesn't hear heat. And then you swallow. And then it eats. Ooh. And then it hits. And the wasabi hits. Oh. So the wasabi hits you right in the nose. You, am I okay? 
Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> but the wasabi, it will hit you in the nose. If you've ever eaten wasabi, you will know. So this wasabi. So you only want to take a little bit. Don't be like taking... If you take this whole thing and put it like that, you are killing yourself. So I'm just going to take a little bit of wasabi. This is the last one, and then we'll start cooking. And I put the sauce on top like this, the ginger on top, and then we're going to take it again. Hmm. Once it's swallow, that's when it hits. Some people use soy sauce. I know, I'm not a big fan of soy sauce. Then it hits. I don't like eating my sushi. Oh, I don't like eating my sushi. This is a bit tearing up. I don't like eating my sushi in sushi bars because I like to enjoy my sushi. Mm, because when you're in the restaurant, you have to be all like, oh, you, you know, like really. I want to say oh, you boo. <laughs> you have to be really like fancy eating your sushi. Mm -hmm. But me, I like dancing. I like excite myself. Okay, so we're done eating sushi. I need to drink water. So I'm gonna get my cup of water. I'm gonna get my cup of water. Ooh. So the wasabi is hot. Yes, the wasabi is hot. My cheeks is hot right now. I don't know that at all. For me, the wasabi is hot, so. Drink your water. Ooh, it's even making it hotter. Mm. So, oh, by the way, I never even talked to you about my hair. My hair is in a bun. Okay, and I laid it. See how it's laid? I laid it with the Kadima aloe jelly. So I'm going to make, um, you guys want me to cook. I'm going to make Ogbono soup. My Ogbono soup. This is my, my freezer. I'm going to grab my Ogbono seed. I keep my Ogbono seed in the freezer if I can still find it. Where is it? This is Ogbono seed. Right here. And I just take the amount that I need. I'm going to take Ogbono. Um, and the way, girl, I, I let toy. Oh, it's challenging. Um, if you've not yet um, been to our Facebook group, please do check out our Facebook group, Discovery Natural. And on that group, we can give you tips on how to do your natural hair and stuff so i'm gonna start cooking um you know what i'm gonna end this vlog i know you guys want to watch me cook but i'm gonna cook on another channel uh but you can go check out dn vlogs like that's where i cook because when i start cooking now some people might come in and they won't understand but like ah, i thought that this was a natural why is she cooking so i don't want to misunderstand um, you to misunderstand so but anyway so thank you everyone we've been chatting for 22 minutes thank you everyone i'm going to start making my ogbono soup and um because people are looking at me and they are hungry <laughs> and they're like mommy you just ate sushi i'm like you ate sushi so oda boy yeah so i'm going to use my ogbono i have chicken roasted chicken and i bought this koku yam i've never made fufu koku yam before so i don't know have you guys ever had that before fufu koku yam Mm, okay, my daughter was like, Mommy, Ogbono, are we having it with Inyo? I said, No, we're having it with Coco Yam. They're like, What is that? I said, I don't know. <laughs> okay, have a wonderful Sunday. Stay blessed. Talk to you in the next video. Take care, stay positive. Love you.